Perseus, and Medusa. When the people gathered at the feast, heard his words, they gasped. He, Perseus, would kill the Gorgon Medusa. It was unthinkable. The Gorgons were crude and graceless creatures. Their hair was a mass of writhing snakes. One glance from a gorgon would turn any living thing to stone. The people could not understand why such a handsome and strong man would choose to die in such a terrible way. Perseus understood the danger too, yet he had no other choice. The king, Polydictes, had tricked him. Polydictes had told his people that he was planning to be married. All the people in the kingdom had brought their king splendid gifts to honor the bride and groom. Perseus had nothing to give. In his shame, he decided to risk everything to bring the king the head of Medusa. With great determination, Perseus set off on his journey. He asked many people, but no one could tell him how to find the Gorgons. Suddenly, Hermes and Athena appeared to him. They knew of his quest. They told him how to find the island where Medusa and her sisters lived. Each had a special gift for Perseus that he would need to survive. Hermes gave him a pair of winged sandals to fly over the sea. Athena presented him with a gleaming shield, warning him to use it as a mirror if he needed to look at the horrible Gorgon. As wonderful as these gifts were, they were not enough for him to succeed, the two warned. Perseus must gather other magical items from the nymphs of the north.
However, finding the nymphs of the north was not that easy. Only the gray women could tell Perseus where they lived. Living in a world as gray and murky as fog, These sisters were strange creatures who shared only one eye between them. When one of them wanted to look at something, she would snatch the eye and place it in her forehead. Hermes told Perseus, that this would be his only chance. He was to grab the eye as they were exchanging it. Only then would the gray women tell him how to find the nymphs. Perseus followed the plan exactly, and the weird gray women told him what he needed to know. He sped to the island where the nymphs of the north lived. The nymphs were sympathetic to Perseus' story. And gave him two more gifts a magic bag, and the cap of darkness. The cap would make anyone who wore it invisible. Thanking the nymphs, Perseus flew once again. He was ready for his ordeal. Even though Perseus was prepared, he still trembled when he saw the island of the Gorgons reflected in his polished shield. Scattered about the barren ground were many strangely shaped stones stones that had once been living creatures. Medusa lay sleeping with her sisters. Her hair a mass of snakes with darting tongues. Perseus put on the cap of darkness so that no one would see him coming and swooped down. With one mighty blow, he cut off Medusa's horrific head, threw it quickly into his magic bag, and flew off. Writhing, wiggling, as in the story, the snakes on Medusa's head were writhing. Quest, search for something, as in the story, Perseus was on a quest. Survive. to go on living, as in the story, Athena and Hermes gave him the gifts so that he would not die 
he would survive. Ordeal. A terrible experience. As in the story. When Perseus was ready and prepared, he faced the ordeal.